about Elmer Jones. It was in the title of it's Elmer and the Bear. Now Elmer Jones, he rose at dawn, he put his hunting breeches on, he looked up at his shotgun on the wall. Now he decided then and there he'd bag himself a hunk of bear because hunting he had plenty on the ball. So he milked the cow and fed the hog and kissed his wife and called the dog and started off a hunting for his quest. He crossed the creek and hit the trees, threw back his head and snipped the breeze and let out a yell and pounded on his chest. He said, here comes Elmer, Elmer's got his gun. Here comes Elmer, you better run, bear, run. Well, Elmer hunted all the morning through and not a bear come into view and Elmer sought her on the kitchen range. He was tired, sick of be a lamb and chicken percocet. He prayed for Mr. Bear meat for a change. Poor Elmer's mind was in a fog. He paused to sit down on a log, get his faculties back in a groove. Well, he heard a noise and he looked up and standing there before him was a grizzly bear and he decided it was time he made his move. When he grabbed his gun and whirled around, Mr. Bear just stood his ground. Elmer said, it's leaving either me or thou. The gun refused to go, and he knew somebody had to go, so he said, farewell, I'm leaving as of now. When Elmer's shoulders sprouted, wings, his feet developed inner springs, and lengthened longer, he was disinclined. He ran so fast in the muck and mire, ankles caught his socks of fire, but still that bear kept coming on behind. Well, dear vandlers, eight feet wide, get in the way of Elmer's stride, and both of them were heading for the brush. He said, listen, son, if that's the fastest you can run, step aside, I'm really in a rush. Well, Elmer's hunt became a sense. He finally reached out for the clinch. He saw the fence around his yard, and he leaped the fence and landed hard. Jumped 60 feet across the yard and slammed the old door in the Bruins' face. Well, Bear was trying to get inside, and Elmer saw the place to hide, and Mrs. Jones, she began to pull her hair. She said, what's all this fuss about? Won't you let this matter drop? And has Elmer said, honey, you tell it to the bear. She said, listen, goon, how come you think your Daniel Boone's appetite for bear meat used to thrive? He said, honey, I'm sure you're aware Daniel always killed his bear, but I done brought this baby home alive.